this is going to take forever. Like many people at the moment, I'm having the big clear out, the lockdown clear out. Loads of rubble I've got to clear. It's going to take me forever in a little wheelbarrow like that. <laughs> what I need is something like powerful, big, solid, and hopefully electric, 100% electric. That would be really good. I can't imagine what I'd have. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at that. That is a skid steer loader, 100% electric, Cobraco skid steer loader. That's a load of rubble. This is a skid steer loader. That's a skip. And this is fully charged. It's so easy! <laughs> so Finley, out of all the electric vehicles uh, I've <laughs> experienced, this one is, I reckon this one's the, one of the peachiest. I really love it. It's just, it's a chunky thing. I think when I first heard skid steer loader, I think I imagined something much smaller. This right. is quite a big chunky thing, isn't it? This so, industry average is basically middle of the road. Right, so there are smaller wise. ones that you there, can have. As far as a diesel engine vehicle is concerned, yeah. yes. Right. Um, this is the smallest one that Kavoko actually make themselves. Right. Um, right. This one's got a 900 kilo lift capacity. Which is quite a lot, isn't it? It That's is, it's nearly a, a ton. Yes. Um, but the bigger version of this will lift up to 1400 kilos. Wow. I've wanted to get rid of this for so long. And it would take ages. <laughs> it's the first fully electric skid steer loader to come into production in the world. Right, right. So it's the first of its kind. Yeah. Down a bit. Oh, this is good. I mean, it messes you lawn up a bit. <laughs> it's suitable for all sorts of different industries as well. Well, I mean, anything that you're going to do inside a building, it makes so much sense to have one of these. Inside leave, a building, yeah. outside a building, yeah. city councils, in the, in the middle of a city, basically, right. very low noise, low yeah. emission. Yeah. Um, a lot of people don't even know it's working. I mean, yes. when we pulled it off the wagon just now... Yeah, it didn't make it didn't make anything. Right. No, right. exactly. That is amazing. That is amazing that it does that. There are two different types of battery as standard that you can have with the machines. Right. The smaller battery affords you a 900 kilo lift capacity. Right. And that will give you a, a, a lifespan in usage of up to five hours. Right. Depends what you're doing with yeah, it. Yeah. If you're going full power in a straight line, then it won't last as long as it right. would be if we're doing what we're doing around here yeah. or, or you're loading. The bigger battery will last eight hours plus. Right. But right. because it's an electric vehicle, it's very unlikely that you'll actually be using the machine For five non -stop. hours solidly. Exactly. There's yeah, no idling the time. Basically, yeah. the machine is on or it's off. Yeah. Now, at the back end, you've got to watch out for the back end. Oh, that's fun. Oh, my goodness. Lift it right up. Oh, it goes right up. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> but now I can see where I'm going. That is nice. And the general attitude then of people that know about it, that work in the industries that you supply, that is, uh, from what if you, you say, if you'd have said to me in March that I would have been talking to power stations or right. to equestrian operations or marine dealers, right, I would have laughed. Right, but basically, cause... this fits into so many different applications yeah. because it's narrow, because it's low, because it's carbon neutral. Yeah. There are all sorts of different applications that it will fit into. So right. it's a very, very flexible device. The other beauty of this machine, with it being carbon neutral, every machine comes with its own control unit, which is a mobile phone, which I think you'll That's probably right. see yes. when, you're, yeah. when you're actually operating it. That will give you a readout as to what the battery's doing in the oh, machine. Oh, right, so that's how you know... What the, it'll help you control the hydraulic speeds of the boom, right. but it'll also help you control the forward and reverse speeds. Right. But the other really, I'm probably too old to say it, cool thing about <laughs> the machine is that it actually remote, acts as a remote control. 
So you can so drive it with no you one You can in. operate the machine remotely. Wow. So from a, an enclosed space or whichever type of industry you're in, you can actually use it right. remotely, which affords an element actually, of health I and mean, safety. Because I was thinking, I couldn't quite see the use, but actually if you're in a, an enclosed Confined interior space, space yeah. and you need to p drive it around the corner, and you, you can be outside, you can see where it is, so you can drive it If you're it in, the ship, in the hull of a ship yeah. with a sweeper on the front, and you don't want to be in the hull of the ship because right. it's hot and dusty and yeah. whatever else, you can stand up top on wow. deck and actually control the machine remotely. Oh, self-leveling bucket. Nice. Oh, 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 that was gorgeous. <laughs> nice addition, because I made a right mess with that one. Right, let's get out of the way over here. Oh no, I'll go that way. Okay, so regular viewers will know that I, um, I'm actually, I'm going to say, quite good at operating a digger. And this is sort of similar. It's a, there are a couple of things that you know. You're, you're, you're in a digger when you're moving a digger, you use your feet, and you, you know, you're pushing backwards and forwards with your feet, and that's how you steer. You know, this is with a, with caterpillar tracks. This one, you do everything with your hands. Your feet don't do anything. I'm now going to scrape up chicken wire that has been overgrown for at least 20 years. 20 years this stuff's been in a big pile of rubbish. And we should really, and it, you know, it's one of those things where you go, oh, I'll clear that chicken wire out, and then you forget. And it's so tangled up with, oh, that is glorious. I cannot tell you how glorious that is. So while I was in the cab, this was mounted up on, a, on, on by the side there because it, sh it shows you your battery, uh, what your battery, what's remaining in the battery, and also the power that the, is being sent to the wheel. So you can set it at different levels. So it's sort of slow and very fast, and the and the operation of the the bucket is fast. But you can also stand outside and and, and operate it like this. I did that. <laughs> Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. There we go. I've got this set very gently so I don't make too much mess. Because there's quite a lot of rubbish going in there. Oh, well, thanks so much for bringing it. I mean, it's a real thrill to, to have it. And My also, pleasure. I've got a bit of rubble I need to move. Excellent. Right, that's what we like to see. <laughs> yes. Bigger the better. I've been saving up my rubble for months. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, I'll tell you what else. I just think it's important to remind myself, as well as viewers that this machine if this was a diesel you I wouldn't be able to talk to you like this it would be really loud no, it's not going to scoop up that but it's so hard to actually catch this in the, in the bucket I'm getting some in the bucket <laughs> so that is good I've finally got a bit of got a bit of that wire is that's the hardest thing it's a stupid thing to do and I'm going to try and scoop it back to make a pile you know, so I, you're, you're looking at, you're, you're watching a terrible amateur <laughs> make a right mess. <laughs> An absolute travesty of a mess of my garden. But I've got that chicken wire. I, I want to tell you, I can't exaggerate how much, how annoying that was, having that chicken wire there. Because I think I've made a right mess of that. There we go. <laughs> oh my Lord. What's the missus going to say when she gets back and sees the lawn? <laughs> so, there we go. I do love this thing. It is amazing. It's, it's, it's a shame. I feel ashamed that I can't. Oh my God, I've made such a mess of it. I can't drive it better. You know, it, 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 it does take a bit of getting used to, but actually, you know, most people would be able to use this couple of hours proper training in, in a, without ripping up your own lawn, probably a lot easier. It's very, very powerful. It, it, as you can see, it can carry, I've, I haven't even begun to load the big bucket. It could carry loads more if I knew how to fill it better. So it's all a bit amateurish, but it's so relaxing because it's not got a big engine running, it's electric. Um, it takes about three hours to charge it, and that will run it for about five hours, as we heard, and 
Um, I don't know what the capacity of the batteries is, it doesn't really matter, but you can get a much bigger battery pack that comes out here a bit more and gives it extra weight. That allows you to also lift more, because it's all about the balance. If you lift up too much with it, the hydraulics are strong enough to lift way more, but it would tip the whole thing forward. So that keeps it balanced. It feels very stable when you're in it. So this is the Covaco Elise 900. Elise is the owner's daughter, the man who's created the Covaco brand. Uh, so that's why it's called that. It's 100% electric really good that's it please do subscribe to fully charged to see more cool electric stuff like this and uh, please do have a look at the patreon link which is uh, underneath this uh, this episode and uh, yeah have a look at the youtube memberships why don't you and if you go to fullycharged.show there's things like this i'm fully branded today fully charged <laughs> uh, there's uh, stuff like that is on sale on the fullycharged.show webpage that's all i'll shut up if you have been, thank you for watching.